Welcome back guys, I'm Zell, and this is the Kershaw Leak. It's a classic, there's lots of reviews out there on it. This one happens to be the composite blade stonewashed model. Composite blade means it has D2 steel on the cutting edge and sanded across the top. We'll get a little closer look at that here in a minute. I just want to say this thing is classic. I've carried one of these for off and on for several years. It's one of my favorite blades. And I'd like to share that with you. So why don't you come on in here a little closer. We'll take a good look at it and then we'll talk a little more about it. Taking a closer look at the Kershaw Leak D2 Composite Black Wash. We can see it's the same old leak that we're used to. We've got aluminum handle scales, torque screw construction, we do have a set of thumb studs up here, but these thumb studs are not for flicking the knife out. They are your blade stop whenever you open the knife. We roll it around to the back. We have a very short plastic spacer and our flipper. Flipper has some pretty nice jimping on it. Feels good. It's just aggressive enough to flip the knife out, but not something that's going to tear your fingers up. As we roll it on around to the back, we have our blade lock, for those of you that need a blade lock, and our pocket clip. This is an old style Kershaw pocket clip, and it's definitely not the deepest carry. In fact, I have another pocket clip for this knife, that I use goes like that and allows the knife to ride rather deep in your pocket compared to the stock clip. However, the stock clip is pretty good, and if you carry tip down, the stock clip works really well. Tip up, not so good. You've got this kind of weird chunk of knife sticking out there that can catch on things. Also on this side of the knife, we have the back side of our pivot, which is a hex head. Why it's not black washed like the rest of the knife, I'm not sure, but that's what Kershaw chose to do. Turning it up here, you can see we have a well-centered blade, and it is a frame lock. Our closed measurements are 4 and 1 16th inch long, a very svelte thickness of 0.32, and a very narrow 0.97 in height. Makes this one of those knives that you clip in your pocket and you just absolutely forget about it. To open the knife, we have Kershaw Speed Safe System. Put some pressure on this flipper back here, and the knife flies out with authority. We have an open length of 6 and 15 sixteenths, a blade length of 2.95, and a cutting edge of approximately 2.8 inches, and a blade thickness of 0.9 inches and an overall weight of 3.04 ounces. So pretty light as well. Now we look down the spine of the blade. Starts out at 0.9, we've got a bit of a swedge here, and it comes down to the point. Pretty thin blade, definitely not one to be prying with. The tip on these knives is very delicate. It will serve you well as long as you're conscious of that. Here we can see the star of our show, the composite blade. If you see that scribbled looking line across the blade there, that is where the D2 and the Sandvik steels meet. Kershaw brazes the two steels together and that gives us our nice line. Uh, and what you really get out of this is you get the flexibility of the Sandvik 
and you get the hardness of the D2 tool steel. That D2 will hold an edge considerably longer than the Sandvik. So it's kind of a best of both worlds approach, plus you get the nice aesthetics. Well, all right guys, now that we've been through some of the boring stuff, where does the leak sit nowadays? And it's got this nice combination, more worn cliff than drop point, almost a flat edge, just a little bit of belly. And you know, where does that put it? There are a lot of knives out there that are in the same price category as this. You know, forty to sixty dollars, depending on where you find it. That will do the job this does, and they have. They may have a thicker blade. They may have a stronger tip. Well, I have quit carrying a leak, but I carried a leak for years. It was my constant companion. I went through three or four of these things. You know, and the biggest problem was I broke tips off of them doing things I shouldn't have been doing with them because my knives get kind of abused. And I just bought new ones. And yes, before you tell me, I know that Kershaw will replace the blade for 10 bucks, but whenever I'm the cause of the problem and I did it, I don't feel good about calling Kershaw and telling him, hey, can you put stick another blade in here for me? Sure, I'll give you the 10 bucks. I know it's a service they offer and they expect that, but I just don't feel right about it. But, so anyhow, this is probably my fifth or sixth leak, and I don't carry this one every day, simply because I really like it, and I don't want to end up with that broken tip again. Now, does that mean that you're going to break the tip? Most likely not. You're probably going to be just fine with this. You're probably not going to use it like I do. Uh, as I've stated before, I'm kind of a knife abuser. So if you're doing your normal tasks, you know, your cardboard, opening boxes, cutting paper, slicing food, in fact this is a great food prep knife. Uh, the Sandvik steel model, I don't know how many times I've pretty much fixed dinner with one. I know how it works in my hand and it works better than a chef's knife for me. It takes up so little pocket space. It's like it's almost not even there. And you know, if you're considering this knife, my suggestion to you is buy one. You're not going to be disappointed. The only disappointment comes if you is if, is <laughs> is when you abuse the knife and you possibly break a tip off of it or something of that sort. Well, anyhow guys, I just wanted you guys to get a look at one of the classics. This has been one of the most respected everyday carry knives for a lot of years. I tried to figure out how long it's been out, but it seems that the uh, history of this knife isn't anywhere on the internet. I tried, but I've had one for several years. Not one, I've had several over several years. And it's one of the knives that I always want to have around. So anyhow guys, I really really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me for a little while. And you know the drill, if you'd share and like this video, I would really appreciate it. And whack that subscribe button. We got a lot of stuff coming that you're going to want to see and I want to share with you. So anyhow, have a great day. And I'll see you next time.